every child has a sport or a physical activity that they will love. From my observations, it's always the sporty kids. The structure of the event set up that the sporty kids who are already involved in sport go off and play ripper rugby or go off and play softball. They're not actually getting the next 80% of kids who actually want to be involved. What time is it? <laughs> so previously we've had the traditional tennis competition where the schools can have a small number of students, maybe four boys, four girls, um, can go down to tennis club play a competition. And we thought there was a gap. So we thought five courts, five separate different skills, five different games. Uh, the kids are not spending any more than 30 seconds without being involved in the game. It was really good. Yeah? A lot of people hit the ball. A lot of kids here would never come to an inter-school event, so it's really, really awesome. Great support from the tennis club. We did the rallying and we did the uh, uh, tennis tag where you had to hold it on and you had to try to whack the we ball out the tennis. Um, we done tennis baseball down there, basically like softball except you're doing it uh, with tennis balls. If it was only run by teachers and schools, you simply don't have the manpower to organise or run things as they want to. I think one of the biggest barriers for primary school sport is Schools don't have the expertise in their staff, so what we'll try to do is find ways within the community to try and support schools with the different events, such as dance. And I have no expertise at all in dance, so I thought, right, I know a really good dance teacher that's come into our school. The dance teacher's going to set 10 dance moves, we're going to film them, we're going to share them all out in um, to all the schools, and we're going to have a central venue, the community hall increase the chances of parents getting off work early and getting their kids to the event. So the kids are only choreographing eight moves out of the ten, they can practice at any time. And then on that um, Friday afternoon we had 120 kids, over at least a half had never attended an inter-school event in their life. We had the community hall, probably 350, 400 people in there. Every single student walked off that stage understanding what those like X Factor would feel like. When they walk off stage to a thunderous applause, they got it. It sort of showed the community, there are a lot of kids here who want to be active just in a non-traditional way.